Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get thousands of free overlays for your live streams to use in XSplit or OBS or whatever you'd like to use like this this is one of the free overlays that i'm going to show you how you can easily get in this video so stay tuned you are going to love this it's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long if you want to stream gameplay quickly and easily i highly suggest getting xsplit now i used to use obs and obs to be honest it's a little bit of a pain to deal with to set up to get the settings that you want but xsplit is incredibly easy to resize images to change settings to basically get things how you want them to be so go to grow on youtube.com forward slash xsplit asap to go and download xsplit you can also use my discount code jcarterray to get 10 percent off so do yourself a favor go get xsplit today jump start your streaming career go to grow on youtube.com forward slash xsplit use code jcarterray for 10 percent off Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from GrowOnYouTube.com, teaching you how to be better and creating new overlays, finding good overlays. Maybe difficult if you're not a designer, you have no ambition to be a designer, you don't want to pay anyone. But there are thousands of free overlays that you can use on this site called Player.me. Now, this is a website. You can also download their um application which i believe allows you to stream from there and they've got a bunch of stuff you can stream you can record but they have a bunch of overlay templates hundreds of professionally designed overlay templates i said thousands maybe i'm wrong i think there's at least a thousand so hopefully there's two thousand that makes me correct on that but basically this is what we're talking about, the overlay templates. They've also got a community page and a gaming profile and all that sort of stuff. And basically, if you wanna find out all the rest of the stuff, I'll leave the link down below so you can go through. I'm not affiliated with them in any way whatsoever. Honestly, I haven't used these templates a lot, but I've tested them out. Um, I make my own templates rarely and I make my own overlays. So I'll, I don't know, maybe if I get into streaming again I'll, I'll use some of these templates but they've got a lot of great stuff they got a lot of great stuff and i played around with the system but i'm not really a streamer so i don't really need to use a bunch of overlay templates and stuff i just keep it simple but they do have great overlays that keep it simple now when you go to this website what you want to do is log in or sign up i mean sign up and it's totally free you don't have to pay for anything it's totally free and you get access to a bunch of overlays now here are five overlays that i have basically added to my collection um and these are the overlays that i was planning to maybe check out and use and see if they're any good but instead of just going to my overlays we can go to discover overlays and you can basically see how many overlays you can look through to see if you can find one that you enjoy so you can obviously go for popular you can go for latest releases um you can go for fortnite let's go for fortnite because that's probably going to be very very popular a lot of people are going to be like oh fortnite fortnite because a lot of people are playing fortnite these days it's one of the biggest games so let's go with fortnite and let's look at the fortnite overlays that is over here and then i'll show you how to set up these overlays in xsplit so it's pretty easy it's very straightforward you also have the ability to customize these overlays which i'll show you a little bit of but we're not going to get super deep into that but you can look through all these overlays and see if you can find one that you enjoy a lot of these come in sets they'll have a variety of different overlays you'll have like the gameplay overlay then you know a be right back overlay and a starting soon overlay you can find stuff like that over here and if you just keep on going you'll find a bunch of different overlays but let's see if we can find something that is nice this looks okay this was okay it's nice and clean Generally, with my overlays, I like to be as clean as possible. I think that's the best way. You really want to focus on the gameplay. As you can see here, 
This is recommended for Destiny 2. So let's go back. Let's go back because that's recommended for Destiny 2. And we wanted a Fortnite one. But maybe these ones, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like, these, these aren't basically for Fortnite. They just can be used for Fortnite. So as you can see, this says recommended Counter-Strike. Now, if you look in this, you have the overlay that you can use for in-game, as I talked about before. Then you have the starting soon overlay and you'll have the intermission overlay. So you could edit the starting soon overlay and make it a be right back one and all that sort of stuff. And basically what you need to do now is you need to add overlay sets. And by the way, if you didn't know, all of these overlays come with all the widgets straight out of the box. That's alerts, labels, goals, counts, trains, and everything else you can imagine. Just add your overlay as a web page to OBS or XSplit and they'll pull in your followers and subscribers automatically. I believe you can also, you know, add your Streamlabs information to your profile. I don't really remember. I haven't used this to stream in ages. I've just been, you know, looking at the overlays and, and seeing if it was something that I would share with you guys. So let's actually add this overlay set and this will give us the ability to actually use it. So we could just choose one or we can choose all of them. Now I'll add all of them and then I'll say that we're gonna be doing it on YouTube Live. You can pick other ones if you're not gonna be using YouTube Live. And then you want to go to my overlays, but it has brought me to the overlay anyway, I think. Has it brought me to my overlays? Yeah. It's brought me to my overlays so we can now see the different overlays over here. So here we have the in-game one. That seems to be the one that makes the most sense to go with. So we can edit this by going into edit. I'm actually, oh, I can't edit in the, oh, it goes to a new window anyway, so that's fine. And I'm gonna quickly show you the editing capabilities. So here is the edit page. Here you can see the different types of e alerts that you will be seeing. This is the new tip received alert. I believe you can check in other alerts by basically turning off certain alerts and turn on other ones. This is the subscriber one. This is the tip alert, all that sort of stuff. You can turn these widgets off and you can edit them. I believe you can edit the colors and all that sort of stuff. Let's go to transform so we can edit the rotation and we can move this around. I think if you go to advanced mode, you can actually change the colors and all that sort of stuff. I don't think you can change all the colors from the normal mode, but if you go to advanced mode, then we can basically go into this and we should be able to actually change things a little bit better see here we go now we've got color text size all this sort of lovely stuff it's basically like kind of like a photoshop file right now we can flip things we can have different animations that i can go really in depth with this but this isn't what the video is about i don't want to go into you know how to create your overlays with player.me or how to edit these overlays that's not really what I want to do in this video. If you want me to go in depth in how to create these overlays using player.me, then let me know in the description below. I mean, in the comment section below. And if you want me to make a video on how to use it in Photoshop or how to create overlays in Photoshop, then leave a comment down below as well. So what we want to do is we can save this overlay which will save it as whatever we just edited it into. And then we can go to launch which will basically give us the opportunity to uh, copy our overlay URL. We could also do that from this page. Like we could have just added the overlay and just copied the link to clipboard. And there are actually instructions for each streaming software. So you can click here, XSplit, and it will tell you how to basically do all of this. So first of all, you need to download XSplit. Then you need to enable the XSplit third party integration, which is done now. Then you need to copy your URL. And then basically, if we go to XSplit Broadcaster now, we can get rid of this overlay. And you just wanna go to add source, add web page. And then when this pops up, you want to add the URL that you copied from player.me. 
And then if you give it a little while, you just wait on it. Just wait on it. And when this has basically appeared, you can size this up and it will size into what it's actually supposed to look like. Let's actually get rid of these subscribers down here because that is getting in the way. But here you can see we've got a new lovely overlay and look how easy that was to set up an overlay. It took like, I don't know, two minutes to get in and get out. Like you could just pick an overlay. You'd be like, oh, you know what? I want, I want to try this overlay today. You click on that, you add it to your overlays, you copy the, the web page, the URL, and you just paste it in XSplit. As simple as that. So that is how you do it. <laughs> I hope this video helped you out and gave you, you know, access to over hundreds of different free overlays and give, gave you this information that will hopefully help you out and save you some time in the future and money. And this is a great platform, although I haven't really used it and looked into it hundred percent and used every part of it and checked it out. It's, it looks promising and I've used it a little bit enough to be like, okay, this looks like a cool platform. I would suggest people to at least use the free overlays. And if you like that, then maybe you check out some of the other different features and see if that works with what you're trying to do. But that is this video. If you have any questions or any other tutorials you'd like me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next XSplit tutorial. Peace out. If you want to learn how I got over 23,000 subscribers and millions of views on my YouTube gaming channel, then you are in luck. Sign up to this free course right now. Link will be in the card, in the description and in the pinned comment. Or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. In this course, you will learn the best way to write your video titles, tags, and descriptions to help you rank on the first page of YouTube. It's simple when you know what to do. I'll also show you a hack that will help you choose the right key phrases and help you create videos that can rank and get views no matter what game you play. Stop struggling to grow your YouTube gaming channel and start doing what works. Click on the link in the description or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. This course will not be up forever, so get in there as soon as possible. I hope to see you here soon and I wish you the best of luck on your journey of turning your passion into your career. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you